guys, it's Denise with Simply Love Soaps, and today we are going to be making some soaps for my friend Tracy and for my daughter-in-law. Um, they both like eucalyptus and spearmint. Um, this is my butter recipe, and um, we're doing the heat transfer method. So I'm going to go ahead and add my life solution into my butters and oils. Let that start melting. Just give it a little stir. And then I'm going to get my other oils ready. Set that to the side. We have our soft oils. The color we're using is going to be Green Vibrance by Nurture Soap, and we're using Apple Green Mica or Green Apple Mica from Be Scented, and we're going to use some titanium dioxide. Let's make sure that's good. We have Kaolin Clay and Colloidal Oatmeal. We're going to add that into the soft oils, and we're going to stick blend those just for a little bit. transfer method is a nice one. Um, I want to try to get a few in before our weather gets really warm here. Normally during the summer it stays too warm and it actually causes the soaps to get too hot and crack. So normally during the summer I love to do the room temperature but I love the convenience the he transfer method was my first love as far as, you know, doing soaps. Got some big pieces in there. I should have made them smaller. I hope y'all have been doing well. The eucalyptus spearmint, it has a flash point of greater than 200, no vanillin, and you can use it at a 28.57%. Um, this, as you can tell, I've used a lot of it. Um, when Simply Love Soaps was selling to the public, um, it was one of my good sellers. stick blender. Go ahead and break up some of these chunks. they want to tilt over and spill. We're going to add in my soft oils. Get all that goodness in there. Yeah. <laughs> 
open it off. This is the green vibrance from Nurture Soap. It does morph. As you notice, it's starting to become that darker green. And we're going to have a good bit of the apple green. I think I want a little more than that. So I want this soap primarily green. I'm using two molds today for this one. I'm using a two pound silicone mold and then I'm using um, my favorite round mold. That's the silicone mold as well. <clears throat> and then, oops, you know what I almost forgot guys? The fragrance oil. See, maybe just a smidge bit of ricing going on, just a tiny bit. I should be able to stir that out if I keep the soap in the bowl. All right. I don't think I want to use titanium. Maybe just a little. Just a little. That's going to be great. Okay. Drop this down, guys.
All right, let me grab my spoon. So we are going to do a spoon swirl. I haven't done a good spoon swirl in a long time. down. Okay. Little chopstick. Some little figure eights on that one. These little boys are going to be for me. Oh, I might hear Cuddy barking. Sorry about that guys. The neighbors are out there doing their yard. All right, grab the chopstick. I'm just gonna swirl these around. A little bit of that white up. All right. All right guys, I'm going to spray these down with alcohol. And then I will bring you by for the cut. Good morning, everyone. This is Denise with Simply Love Subs. And today we are going to be cutting the eucalyptus and spearmint soap. If you notice the beautiful green, the uh, two different color greens. Um, yesterday when we stopped it had already started the color morphing so um it turned back to this beautiful greens and let's see what we've got on the inside very pretty the 
two different greens. I wanted the greens heavier in the swirl than what I normally do. That's why there's a lot of swirls. If you remember, normally I just do light swirls. But I wanted a lot of green because this soap is very, it smells very vibrant, very fresh, very minty. Very nice. And there we go. Thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. God bless.